Good morning, folks. It's Sunday, February 10, uh, four days before Valentine's Day. We're down in the workshop. Uh, it's like I say, Sunday morning. It's probably about 10.30, 10.45. I got here quite late this morning. But uh, one of the things I have to do, you know, some of my fill-in work is to build styles now that I've got the rails and the kick plates done. And those are styles boards that I'll glue together for uh, interior doors. And one of the things I need to do is I cut down the cherry planks, which this is a cherry plank right here that I have on the saw. Now that cherry plank is 146 inches long and I use 94 inches of it to cut it into, first of all, I cut it at 94 and this is what they, I call it a chop saw, but on a board this thick, what I'll do is take it, uh, that's a two inch board, and uh, I'll take it and cut maybe a half inch, a little bit more at a time, and I'll make three passes before I get to the very bottom. The reason is, is that I don't want this board to bind and shift on me. Now here's a piece uh, and it holds this board down. You see the board sits on on the uh, plenum of that and it goes all the way over and there's the end. It, it's an arm that comes out and I rest the rest of the board on that and then I'll make that straight cut. Um, and this way, and then again it sits on this plenum and I have that one only out about three feet, but it's enough to hold it. So I don't have to be wasting energy trying to hold these boards and keep them from binding and shifting. So once I get that board cut, what I do is I take this 94 inch board and I take it over to the uh, table saw and I'll run it through. And there's a lot of heat and pressure, but uh, I cut it into, strips that are one and a half inches wide and then they're two inches and then what I'll do is I'll cut three quarters of an inch off and that'll be one side of the style and the rest will be the other side and then here's three of those pine boards I'll glue these together with that three quarter on one side and the inch and a quarter on the other and that'll give me the size style I need for some of my doors so right now I have enough cherry cut into big chunks to do five doors. One, two, three, four, and five. So today I'm hoping to be able to glue four of those styles. I've never glued four before. So that'll take care of that stack there and then plus that. Once I get that, um, but before I can start gluing, I got to cut these boards into that three quarter and one and a quarter inch strip. Uh, and then, you know, today or tomorrow, probably tomorrow, I'll take and run that 94 inch board through my jointer and get one edge flat. Like, you know, that's that was not jointed. Um, this was not jointed either. Um, but, uh, you know, they're good enough the way they are. Now, um, one of the things that I have to do, you know, I have for my French doors, I'm still, I've just sort of put those aside, but these are the kick plates on the bottom below the window. And I have to put on the, uh, I have to glue this veneer on and this one, this one on one side, that one on the other, inside, outside. Uh, and then this is a top rail over the top of the windows. Um, so I have to I, I have to do that on uh, that one plus five more. Um, and again, that's fill-in work when Linda's not able to work with me. Uh, this is one person work here. Uh, when we do the uh, the styles, as far as gluing veneers on, that's a two-person job. So, okay, that's what I'm working on. Um, I was here yesterday. I worked probably about five or six hours. 
And then today I'll probably work until 4.35 o'clock. Thanks for following our progress.